Hello boys and girls, welcome to day five, our last day of our virtual camp. I'm Louise, I'm the founder of Cleotic. So Cleotic, as you know by now, is a non messy I'm based here in Dundalk, um, so this is my studio here. So with Cleotic, it's non messy it doesn't take the clothes, carpet or hair. So whatever you make, you get to keep. So all your little creations that you made during the week, you can keep it forever and ever. So just to recap on what we made yesterday, we did our little mermaid or merman, and then we did our wand. So my wand, yeah, it's, it's actually okay. That might take another little day or so to dry, but hopefully it'll help you in your homeschooling for next week, okay? So I hope you've enjoyed that activity. I liked it myself. The people who liked the little wand idea, so that's good. I'll just set that aside. So today, boys and girls, we're going to make a little phoenix bird, see? And then we're going to make a pegasus. Pegasus, isn't that how you say it? Yes, another, okay, you can adapt it any way you want. So like that. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside as well. Set these two aside. And let's get playing. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring this down here and let's get started. Okay, so what we needed for today are our number five tub so it is the blue and the orange and then the yellow and the orange for our bird so we're going to start off with the peg pegasus first okay so we'll open up that container there and we'll take out so it's the blue we need first okay and remember every day we've been doing it but we'll continue to do it we're learning our basic shapes we stretch and fold stretch and fold just to warm up the clay and then we're going to do the three shapes that we need to know to make anything from Cleotic. Okay, so the first shape, can anybody tell me the shape first shape is? Yeah, I heard you out there. Good boys and girls, a ball. So I'm going to do my ball in the palm of my hand. So in the palm of my hand, like this. So that's the ball. Let me just hold it up. So you want as wrinkle free as you physically can get it, okay? Because now you are all pros, you'd be fantastic at this. So I'm going to just set that down there and then I'm going to get the little mermaid out of the way so she's not distracting us. So then we're going to go and make our droplets. So you roll over and back like this. So it's like a teardrop or a raindrop. It's called a droplet. OK, so you have a fat bottom and a skinny top. So fat bottom and a skinny top. And then the third shape we need to know is a sausage. So over and back like this. It's just a simple little sausage. That's the most simplest of shapes. So we're going to bundle it all back together because we know our three shapes now and we're ready to make our pegasus. So we're going to get our proportions right. Our proportions right are very um, important for this character here. So just roll it into a sausage and then divide. Just try and get an equal kind of sausage there when I'm trying. You're going to divide it into three. Sorry, you're going to divide it into two first, okay? And then... The other half, so one of the halves, we're going to divide it into two. Okay, so we're just going to use this one here. These are, this is the amount we need for the legs of the Pegasus, okay? So I'm going to put the other blue away, because remember it's an air dry in case you want to keep it nice underneath your tub so it doesn't dry out. So that's the amount of clear we're going to use for our four legs. Okay, so there's the four little legs. And as you, if you can see, I don't know if you can see there in the camera, but they are little, uh, a variety. They're, they are like a droplet, but a slightly adapted droplet. So I'm gonna put him aside and show you exactly what I mean. So we're gonna put half that. So remember four legs, so you divide it into two. And then two again. So you have four little parts, four equal parts. That's the main criteria to have four equal parts. Now each of these we're going to roll them into a ball, four bases for our legs. Now each of these legs we're going to use we're going to turn these into droplets, slight droplets, okay? Nothing too pointy. So you have a fat bottom and a skinnier top, but you're going to put a little bit of pressure on the base of it, like that. Just so that it's not um so that it'll stand upright. So I'm going to do that with all the other three. So into a ball, into a droplet and then flatten it like that. 
Same for the other one, into a bowl, into a droplet. And it's a it's not a pointy droplet. That's important to say. Look, that's not pointy. And then we're going to put pressure on the table so that it is actually flat to the table. And then the final one, into a bowl, into a droplet, and then flatten it. So you have four legs now. Okay? So one, two, three, four. Whoops, he fell. Now, the next thing we're going to do, just to give it a little bit of highlight, we're going to add a little bit of orange, you know, for a horse shoe. Well, it could be the hooves, but whatever it is, we're going to use it in orange. So take out the orange. You only need a very small amount. So I mean, a small amount, boys and girls, that may be even too big. But in around that amount and roll it into a sausage. So keeping you out of the way, into a sausage. And you're going to divide the sausage into four. So remember how I said we do that? We cut it in half and then half again. So that's four little sausages for the hooves of our Pegasus. Like that. I'm going to do that now. So look, sorry, hold it up to you. It's like that. Okay. And the next one. And wrap it around. Whoops. Wrap it around. The, ooh, it's jumping everywhere. Wrap it around the base. And then holding it up to you is there. Okay. And then the same for the other two. So like that. And like that. Okay. But using this tool here, we're going to indent the center. So it looks like a little hoof almost, isn't it? Yeah, like that. So I'm going to hold it up again. We're going to put it in, slice it up so it's like a little hoof. And same for this wee guy here. So one, two, three, four. So there's our four legs completed. Okay, so we now have to be very mindful of the amount of clay we're going to use for the actual body. Okay, um, so we had our half. I think my mind's after sticking together. So I'm just going to show you again anyway. So I would use around that amount of clay. So just be mindful. Just a small enough little body. You don't want it too heavy or the little legs will collapse. So into a ball. I'm going to put my clay away there into a bowl and then into a kind of a little sausage shape, slight little sausage like that. OK, something around that amount, nothing more, anyway, not, nothing too much because you want the legs to support the body. Like that. I'm just going to leave it there so you can see. Now, because the Pegasus is an it's a winged horse, we're going to obviously make our wings. So get our orange out and I'm going to show you the amount we need. It's a small amount, around that amount, okay? So you have plenty in your pot still, but you want to take around this amount of clay for the wings of the actual horse. So I'm going to keep that there and we're going to, I'm going to add a little bit more for me now. So into a ball and then divide it into two, okay? And then we're going to, what shape do you think the wings are out there, boys and girls? Did I hear if someone say? I did. Yeah. Droplet. Fantastic. So into a bowl. And then a little droplet. So simple little droplet like that. And same for the other one. Into a bowl. Into a droplet and then flatten it. Okay, so small little wings, small little wings there is what we need. So I just want to get my black tray just so you can see the actual size and dimensions. Okay, so the wings, the pointier bits will be sticking out, sticking out this way. So that's, you want the pointy bit sticking out. So now when we're at that stage there, we're going to actually get our smooth, this tool here. And we're going to use a smooth side and we're going to indent, slice into it. So slice, I'll hold it up to you now. So slice, 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 and slice. And same for the other one. So slice, slice, slice it up, slice it up, slice it up. Okay. I'm just going to put it on the table for one minute. You should be able to see it against the white anyway, what I'm doing. 
So yeah, I've sliced it and then you're going to just get use the same side again and just bring it up again, bring it up, bring it up. So you went down the first row, we're going up this way. We're going up, 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 up and up and up, yeah? And I'm just going to do a few more little slices into it just to give the illusion of feathers in the wings. So slice it up, whatever way you want to do it now, boys and girls, you feel free. So I'll hold it up to you so you can see it like that. Okay, so something like that. Now with the blue that we still have, we're going to just nip a little sausage, a little tiny bit. I mean, it's a tiny little bit away, around this amount away. Okay, and you're going to roll a big sausage and do the outline of the wing, the outline of the wing to highlight it, just to give it a little bit more design element and to make it a little bit more attractive. So into a long sausage, into a long sausage, around that amount. And remember with Cleotta, it actually stretched. So if it's too small, we can add, we can stretch it with our fingers anyway and divide it into two. OK, and then we're going to go and we're going to position it on here like this. Just a little on the top of the wing, on the actual top of the wing. Not where the, the little jaggy sections are, just on top of it. So again, mine's a little bit small, so don't panic. We're we'll not panic. We just stretch it out a little bit. Just stretch it out. And even if that's like that, we can just cut it away. Don't worry. We can fold it in. Okay. So there are the two little wings we have like that. Okay. And there's the other one. So we're doing quite well now. I'm just going to recap here just what we've done so far. We've done a four legs. We have a little body. And then we have our wings. So we're actually going to attach our and the same for the outside. The same for the other one, sorry. Like that. Okay. So he's a flying horse. That's what a Pegasus is. It's a mythological creature as well. Okay. So that and that. We're doing quite good. I think my proportions are okay. So putting the body away, so he's gonna have a look if he's just a little bit behind. And then we're going to get our head. So our head, we don't want it too big, we don't want it too small. So I'm thinking it's going to be less, around half the size of your body, is how I would judge it. So we're in half the size of your body. So you're going to roll into a ball. So that's the amount I'm using for my head. So into a ball. And then you're going to roll it into a slight droplet, into a slight droplet. So you have a fatter bottom and a skinnier top there, okay? So then we need to add little ears to that. So yeah, that's actually gonna be nice. So just think all about proportions, compare it and contrast it to the body. We're gonna add two little tiny ears. So again, nothing too much. Mind that amount and divide it into two. So divide it into two. And we're gonna roll into a ball roll into a droplet and then attach it on. Same for the other one. So sorry, that's important to show you the head, the ear is sticking out, isn't it? Like that, on the skinnier part. And then the other little bit into a ball, into a droplet and then stick it on. Like so. Okay, so there we have the ears and the nose section and the top of the head. So we're doing good. Now, the next thing we're going to do is get more of the orange. So only a small amount. It's the kind of the snout section we're doing next. See that? Yeah. So a small little bit of orange. Roll into a ball. I'm going to put that away. And then into a slight sausage. So into a slight sausage. Moving the head so it's not distracting us. Into a slight sausage. And then we flatten it. So flatten it like that. And then I'm going to use my tool just to bring it up and put it where the little snout should go. Like that. Like that. Okay, so look at. And then we're going to use our tool here and we're going to put a little incision here and a little incision here. See the little nostrils of the little horse's head. OK, but remember, again, we're going to keep this tool here and we're going to put an indent where the eye, 
it will go. So I'm putting two little eyes there. They're going to be very small, so small little holes. And we're going to get a white. So again, you would have had enough clay. I've had quite a substantial amount left over. And remember, boys and girls, I've been doing twice the amount of characters that you have. So you should have plenty of colours left. So I'm just going to take this out and get the white. So we have it there. So use Greta White and open it up. And you only want tiny bits now, boys and girls. Remember, tiny bits, nothing too much. Okay. So I put it on the tray to show you the black tray. Just around that amount. And that might be actually too much. Something around that size. And you're going to roll it into a ball and then half it. So into a ball and then half it. Yeah. Oops. So you have two equal eyes. Remember, one tip you should have learned from the week is... When you're making anything, like a pair of anything, you need to roll off, start off with a larger ball and then cut it in half. Whoops. Sorry, mine has just gone everywhere there. So I'm going to hold it up because it's sliding my tray like that. And then we're going to stick it in. We're going to stick it in and the same for the other side into a ball and then stick it in. These little bits are very, very tiny, so it's difficult just for me to control it. There we go. So two little balls like that. And then we're going to get a tiny bit of black. If we have black, yep. Yeah. I've got plenty of black left, so so should you. So that. And I'm going to get the teeniest little bit of black that you've ever literally seen in your whole entire life. So in that amount. Okay, can you see it? Yeah. It might be even too big, so you gauge just whatever amount of black you use, it has to be less than the white that you've already used. That's just the tip of the day, okay? So, a little bit of black. Oh, you come out, come out, come out. So, a little bit because you've nice smaller little hands than me and fingers, so you'll be able to do this better than me. So, roll it in, and it should be smaller than the white, whatever amount you use, smaller than the white it has to be. So, that's looking good so far, isn't it, boys and girls? Now, so we have that, we have that. Now, if you want to give it a little mouth, you just use, again, this tool here and you go from one side to the other. See, just like a little smile. Yeah. So that tool is really good, boys and girls, for um, making smiles. That's one of my most important tools I use um, for lots of different aspects of model making. Now, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to concentrate on the hair and the mane. So I'm going to put that like that. Can we see it? Yeah, we can see all the components here. So it's a head, the body, and then we have the actual legs. So we're going to go on to the mane. I'm going to stick predominantly with orange. I think, what was my other color? I'll use, I'll use green, orange and green, okay? And it's equal amount. So this is for the sorry, this is for the tail and for the mane. So this is the hair kind of section. So we're going to go. I'm going to just do it two colors. You can add more. You can add less. Whatever you are comfortable with. And these are much more creative a color and that kind of thing than I'll ever be. So you go with whatever way you want to do it. But I'm going green and orange, and I'm going to roll them into sausages. So into sausages like that. Okay, and I'm going to go with the same for the other side as well. Oh, sorry, for the other strand. Yeah, nice and long. Try and keep them as equal in length and in thickness. Because again, I'm sure now these are all professional at rolling the sausages and getting equal dimensions, aren't you? Oh, sure, I know. There you go, like that and that. Now, I'm just going to just make that a little bit just more, more finished by taking that a bit away. You don't have to do that. Now, I'm going to roll out another, so going to another, another green and then another orange. So another green. So remember, I used around that amount of green. Again, you can choose your colour combinations. You don't have to stick with what I'm doing for this because this is the last day. And um, you can do anything with that pack of colours that, you know, you want to. So you feel free to do your own little combinations. Now, and then, so we're going to go with equal amounts of orange, equal amounts of red, or of, of green, and we're going to roll them out. Roll them out, so that one's going to go, I'm just going to just do it into a pattern. So we have orange, we have green, and I'm going to do my other green now. Oops. 
Okay, way. So over and back. Over and back. So the, the this my green is a little bit it's it kind of bounces back almost so I have to put a lot of pressure on the green it just doesn't want to, to stretch out for some reason whoa yeah there we go there we go we have her we have her we have her there we go so I hope you have enjoyed the five days boys and girls and I was delighted as I said to have girls over in Scotland Cara and Aoife and girls up in Belfast, Julie and Galway and Cork. Is it Cork? Um, people have quite a lot of you, so thanks very much. So like that, that and that. So for them. Yeah. Okay, and I'm going to just stick them all together. Like that. So you kind of have the illusion of strands of hair, don't you? Yeah? Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit off and I'm going to use this little bit. So we're like hairdressers here today. We're just going to um, do a little fringe for our little Pegasus. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little fringe here. But be mindful because girls, if you are going to be doing a little horn, it might get a little bit um, overpowering. So just do a small little bit for a fringe or for hair coming over his head. Okay. And then I'm going to half this because we're going to use half of it for the tail, half of it for the mane. So I'm just going to half it and use this wee bit. And again, with Cleotic, there's stretch. So you can pull it out and manipulate it slightly, okay? And I'm going to give him a side parting you know, or a side parting, you know, whatever way you want to do your little pegasus as a male or a female, it's up to you. So that. So little flowing locks like that. Yeah? So I just stuck it to the side. You could if you want, you have more time than I have to do another side. It's up to you. So again, we're just going to recap what we have done so far. We have our feet. Oh, sorry, we were legs. Legs. We have our lovely body with our lovely luscious wings, haven't we? Yeah. And then we have our hair attached to our little head with the eyes and the nostrils on and the little fringe. OK, so for the tail, I'm going to just turn around. So remember the with the bits of the wings that had the serrate and all the details, that's the front. So the little bum is going to be here. So we're just going to get our tool. Like this here. And we're just going to put a little, little hole just in the bum like that. Yeah. And then I have more blue. No, we'll just we'll just continue with the tail for a minute. Yeah. So we're just going to stretch the tail out. We're going to, well, I'm going to use probably have lovely long tails. I just want it a little bit longer, so I'm going to stretch mine out. And then you're going to pinch it at the top. So use those little pinchers there. These are pinchers, yeah. We're going to just pinch it in. Okay, so it's a little bit point of head out of the way for a minute. So tiny little bit of blue around this amount. Okay, and then roll it into a sausage. And then we're just going to wrap it around the little, the bum. Okay, so that's our tail done. So see the way I've just done it there? Just to give it a bit of a finish there. Now your tail hopefully is a little bit more dramatic than mine. Mine's a little bit flat, but again, use of the time, you can do it and you can pick your colours. So the next thing we're going to do is build up our little legs. So we're going to build them up like that so that they're close, they're nice and close together to hold the weight of the body. That's an integral part to know, boys and girls. You know, it, they have to be close or it'll just all collapse. So nice and in. In like that and in like that. So I'm going to hold it up to the camera to show you what way I have done it. It's sticking, it's sticking. Yeah. Why? It's all wibbly. So like that. For um, the little horn, we're going to actually do it. I'm going to do mine just for it to stand out. I'm going to use my white. I've still got quite a lot of white. Again, your colour combinations there. So I'm going to go with white and then a tiny bit of orange and wrap it around. You know the way the unicorn has usually a couple of colours. So in order to do that, head out of the way just for a minute, we're going to roll, that's far too much because we don't want it too big. So around this amount, if you're using two colours, that and smaller possibly, and the same for the white, okay? And then we're going to roll them into small little sausage, small little sausage. Small little sausage. 
and then wrap them together. So it's kind of interlocking them. Okay, so this, and then we twist, and then we twist, and we twist. So there's a little horn there, and we twist up like that. So you're, you're kind of twisting the clay and then putting it into a little pointy horn, just like that. Okay. And then we're going to put it in the center of the little head. So I'm just going to turn it up to, to me first and then I'll show you what I'm, what I'm talking about. Just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to put him on here. Let me just see again. I have to turn to me first before I can show you. So you can stick your little head on in the center. So like that. See, I stuck it at the fatter part. I'll take it off again and show you that. It's just there. It's just to the front and stick it on. And put a little firm but fair. You don't want it to get too squishy. Okay. So hopefully you're happy with that little creation. Boom and use them and play with them, whatever, okay? So we're gonna set him out of the way. So the next character we're gonna to do today, this is a firebird. So that's why if you see him there, he's got two tones. He's got a variety of different, well, he hasn't got a variety, he's got two tones. He's got a yellow and he's got an orange color. And we don't want to mix, so I'm gonna get us to mix two colors together, the yellow and the orange, but you don't want to blend it. You want to see the lovely exciting yellow. You want to see the lovely orange. So don't mix it all together, keep it marbly. So that's what we're gonna do next. So I'm opening my tub here. It's, it's very vibrant and it's quite sticky. So just be mindful of that as well. But see the way it's kind of going nice and two-toned like this. So that's the way you want to keep it. Don't get it all the one color because that just makes it very flat and boring. So I'm going to leave mine like that. I'm happy enough with the two tones that I've achieved so far. So we're going to roll this into a ball. Okay, we're going to roll it into a ball separate pieces so we're going to divide them into three um, so three little sections so the ball we roll into a slight sausage that's why it just won't get off screen and like this and we're going to divide it into three so one two three so I'm just going to go one here again it doesn't have to be exact we're just trying to get it roughly similar I know um, some of them are going to be bigger and smaller but look just try and get them as big or as even as you can. So I'm going to use these smaller outer bits of my sausage. They're going to be the body and that's going to be the tail. So that's the body, that's the tail. And I'm going to use the wings are my biggest part of this creation. So we're going to go with that for the wings. So I'm taking these away and I'm putting them underneath the tubs just to keep them safe and out of sight so they don't get confusing. So this boys and girls is for the wings. So again, we roll them into a ball. and then you divide it into two. So into a ball and then divide it into two and that's gonna be for the amount we're gonna use for our two wings for our phoenix bird. That's our even, yeah, I'm happy enough with that. So again, into a ball. And can anybody out there tell me what shape they think the actual wings are? Sive, can you? I know this might be, there's a sive out there that, um, yeah, I think I hear you. You said, good girl, it's a droplet. Yeah, good. So into a ball, into a ball, and then a droplet. We need the two droplets. You want them as even as you can get. Now, I'm going to open back like this. So it's a, it's a flattened droplet we're doing. So like that, okay. And then we're going to flatten it. We're going to flatten it. Like that so look at mine w marbly isn't it it's 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 really really nice i can see it in my hand okay and then the other one so flat and drop it two flat and drop it for the wings and there like that okay so we're going to just nip so i just want this a little bit more pointy i'm not happy you might have got it better than what i did so i'm just going to nip it up and turn it up so it's like that You're sending me photographs of your, your creations sure i'm delighted getting them and i hope to at the weekend be able to put them up on facebook it's just i've been so busy this week but particularly cara out there and um Aoife 
sent me beautiful creations and we Alva as well and Nav and they're fantastic really really good and I love seeing them it does my heart good to see all these fabulous creations so you're going to go up like that and up like that so you want them upright now we're going to get our tool here and we're going to slice in so slice in slice in slice in slice in slice in slice 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 and slice and then we're going to indent up indent up indent up 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 see what i'm doing so we sliced up and then we're slicing again just so that there's a little division almost okay it just looks more wing like doesn't it yeah and then we're going to do the same on the other side so i just want to do it here and then i'll show the camera so slice up slice up okay so we sliced up but then we're still going to use this tool and going to indent, 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 all the way up. Okay. And again, I know from real life workshops, youth girls and boys are very good at wings. So I'm just going to let you kind of to freestyle and you do your own. I'm just adding more slices to mine. Again, just to give the illusion of a wing. And the other side as well. This here this here that and that and that now so i hope lucy and bella i hope you are paying attention out there in dundalk as well because these are very good so i get pictures from them as well so hopefully you're enjoying this little activity as well okay now so we've done the wings and they're locked in the droplets so again i'm going to nip back into my what I had. So remember to be divided into three. So this is our second part, the second amount of clay. So we're going to roll into a ball and then we're going to roll into a droplet. So over and back, nice and carefully, nice and carefully, nice and carefully like this. Okay, so that's going to be, that's going to be where the eyes and the head or the little beak will go. So this is kind of the chest of the little bird. So again, um, I like the fact, see the way you can get little texture as well. So you want to illustrate that the little uh, fluffy chest or breast of the bird. So we're going to use this here, this nice serrated edge of the tool, and you're going to slice down, slice down, so okay, out of the way, and roll into a ball. And then a droplet. So over and back like this, over and back like this. So you want, it's going to be quite a dramatic tail. So you want it around that length, okay? Even longer, you kind of decide the length that you want it. And then you flatten it with the palm of your hand, flatten it. Every tones, there's a bit fiery, there's more orange, there's a bit of yellow there, it's there, and the other on the other side. So you want to get it symmetrical. So I put a pure slice, everybody look carefully, a slice, I sliced into it as if I was a cutting, symmetrical as you can get. So like that, I'm going to hold it up to you like that okay it's pointed out so it looks like flames pointed out and the, remember we said if before it's all there's a stretch to it so it'll be fine oh look and again i'm just going to do more little texture just on the base so i'm going to i'm going to actually use this this side again remember we did it yesterday for the mermaid we're just going to do little textures all the way around like this just to give it again the illusion of it just makes everything a little bit more interesting as opposed to being really flat because you want it to be exciting like that like that it's almost like a fish tail isn't it there no so when we have that like that we're going to just just suss out everything first just before we assemble it all, I just want to make sure. So like that, yeah, looking good. Now, so I'm just, I'm just building it up. Don't stick it all together yet, boys and girls. Don't stick it just all together just yet. Oh yeah, that is actually looking good. Yeah. Now, so some of you um, may have got the majority of eyes there, boys and girls. I just stuck one there and one there at the side. It's very important to stick the eye on. At the side, okay. So I'm quickly going to so around that amount and divide it so into a ball and then divide it into two. 
Okay, so we're going to roll into a ball. This is this is for only people that want to make their own eyes or the eyes maybe won't supplied. So in at the side onto the surface. Whoops. Again, sorry, I'm just going to do it and pan my hand. I can't do it in the surface. I mean that amount of the yellow, divide it into two. And do a sausage over the eye so that it's holding the eye in. It's hot. Okay, so I can quite evil mine, isn't he? Ooh, yeah. Now, and then the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to stick with red. I want to do red for my beak. So in like this. So take the red. Okay. So this is the beak of the bird. So the beak is obviously going to go around there. So into a ball. And then a little pointy droplet. So this is the most, you've utilised this shape throughout the whole camp. So you'd be fantastic at this now. And then I'm going to put mine down. So I'm just going to get you out of the way for a minute. I'm going to put you mine down like that. Okay. So that's looking very, very good. It's kind of, mine looks a little bit sinister. So maybe you can do yours, yours might look happier, it just depends. It's all, it's all about animation, isn't it? And making your own little characters. So that's looking good. Okay. Now the only thing is here, I'm going to ask you to do an outline of red. Okay. So this is just to highlight the wing, just to give it a little bit more of a definition. So two. And then do the outline. I'll hold that up to you now, sorry, to show you exactly what I'm doing. So like that. So we're putting it from one side to the other. Just to highlight the little wing. And again, the red, the yellow, the orange, any of those colours you choose are fine. I'm just went, I just chose red. Okay. And the other one. It actually looks lovely. Um with the orange and the yellow, the red. <clears throat> so the right, yeah, this is the right side. And then up and then over. Like that. Now, so there are my two wings. Is that the right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, three droplets. So one, two, and three. So into a ball, and then a little droplet, and we're going to give it a little tuft of hair. So look at like that in the middle, just to give it a more little animation and cuteness. It's like a little chicken, actually, isn't it? And the same for the other one. Oops. And like that. And then so it's three droplets basically. Oops. It's jumping everywhere, mine. Woo! Literally it's jumping everywhere. So I'm gonna try and get it up. And then I'll show the camera now just one minute. One minute, one minute. So I'm going to give a little head, a little hair do like that. A little tuft of hair. Okay. So now it's really time to get assembling it. So we have the wings, we have the tail, and we're going to stick our little body onto it there. So it's like that. I'm going to lift my, I want mine a little bit longer. Like that. Okay. So, and then just to kind of um, amalgamate the, in the, in the theme of kind of flames and, fan it's almost like a fan i'm doing there just to give it again and to make sure it'll stick to the actual tail section so that's that's actually nice there okay i'm just going to do it again so i'll hold it up to the camera to show you what i've been doing yeah put it properly i find i find false so i'm just going to stick a tiny little shine in my eye just if if that if you want to do that, please do. If not, um, don't be bothered. But I just want to give it a little bit of a shine. So a tiny little. But these are the little highlights in your eyes. The sparkle, isn't it? Okay. Now, so the final thing we do is we just get our little magnet. So we have the sticker in the back, and then you pull it away, and then you stick it to the back of the phoenix. In, in the, it's either way I've put mine there, so in between the wings. See that? Okay. 
So I'm going to hold it up to everybody now. I just have to, because again, I need to look at it just to make sure everything is okay before I show you, so if that's all right. Yeah. So that is our last little activity. That was 10 activities we made over the last five days. So you would have learned a huge amount, I'm hoping, in that space of time. Clopses, loads and loads of different characters that we've mastered. So you are literally masters at Cleotic now. That's the, the five weeks. Characters make little presents for your mom. I think Mother's Day is coming up soon, isn't it? So you can make little gift cards for her with it. But um, thank you so, so much for joining up for the five days. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Um, in the future, I will be running more camps and after schools, but I will let each and every one of you know um, what's happening and when it's starting. But um, just a big, big um, thank you from my, the bottom of my heart to say, you know, I really appreciate the support and the people that took place or took part in the live tutorials and that you and for all you that um, looked at the recording. So I really appreciate it. And um, 